Good day, brothers and sisters out there. Good day, my viewers. Good day, Eastern Youth Network as an organization. Good day, Nigerian youth. Good day, fellow beer friends. Good day, men and women all over the world. <coughs> the lecture of today, or the discussion of today, concerns all and sundry that has to be a living soul. And that is why I have come very much prepared in my Ebrubu color, in my rainbow-like appearance, to bring to you the light of the living and as well as the light of the spirits. <clears throat> in the previous video before now, we are discussing about the spirit, trying to understand the difference between the spirit, the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Ghost. And uh, I have told you something concerning the spirit of which if you look at it in totality, that can be said the spirits of God because God made them. Those are his spirits. So when someone says the spirit of God appear unto me, we have to find out which of the spirit of God appear unto you. Is it the spirit of God from the waters? Is it the spirit of God from the mountains? Is it the spirit of God from the rivers? Is it the spirit of God from the lakes? Is it the spirit of God from the celestial world, from the celestial world, or from the celestial world? So this is what we need to understand. But today, we are going to discuss the another major hit of this topic, which is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Now, the Bible mistake the Holy Spirit to be the Holy Ghost. Now, the wisdom of the scholars from the so-called Harvard and their useless university, according to the measure of the knowledge of the world, they believe that they can interpret the things of the Spirit, but here the Lord confounded the wisdom of the, of the earth to, to, to make it a thing of foolishness. And now hear the wisdom of God. Hear the wisdom that God gave unto Solomon. Hear the wisdom that Solomon cried for, for God to reveal unto him. And God said, for you to perhaps ask this, that, 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 that means I'll give you all. So that wisdom is what we want to tap from this morning. That wisdom is what I want you to look into this morning and evade or in the art of what we call the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the third member of the Godhead. According to the Biblia uh, uh, theological approach of what uh, 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 the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit represent, by the language or the lyrics of what the gospel offer unto us. So it is the third member of Godhead. But this Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is three in one. That is to say, in my previous video, you can imagine how I use a drink from Italy to describe the Spirit. And now I'm going to use the same drink to describe uh, uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, which is... is now is part of the component of both the body, the element, and as well as that which made the body and the element of the body to function. Of which, if detached, we are dead. That is the Holy Spirit of God. <laughs> you know. Now we are trying to separate it. This not. This, we are talking about the spirit now. The Holy Spirit. I know I do not speak of my own. I speak the word which the Father who have sent me have put in my mouth to teach unto you. I am Amadeoha in the flesh. Amadeoha is in me, and I am in Amadeoha. I and Amadeoha is one. And the Spirit bear record of me and Amadeoha. Go and ask questions. And Amadeoha have sent me to come and tell you this, to come and teach you this truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth as concerns our existence and as well as the liludums and the labilum that concerns our living. Good. We we'll proceed. The Holy Spirit. You see, that is every man living upon the face of the earth has the Holy Spirit of God in him. Did the Bible teach us that? Did the pastor teach you this? Have they ever taught you this mystery? Good. Now we are separating it. The Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. You know. <laughs> now, as I always say, there is always the element, there is always the body, and there is always the spirit. 
that is this tray in one. If you look at the package of that drink, it is tray in one. That is what it means by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's just one entity. <laughs> okay, we'll proceed. I want you to understand the truth about the gospel. Because this gospel that we all preach has become an element of anybody can come and say anything. And we have not found the truth in that direction. Now the truth is what we are finding through this direction of our existence. Using the soil of our creation, which is where we come from, who we are. So I am really a black man. And in this black man, I am a descendant of Igbo. And in this Igbo, I am the bloodline of Imo. And in this Imo, I am the seed of that which is called Uleru. Did you see that branches? I am in the world, but I can still break it out. That is the way it is in the spirit too. So we are going to use that kada to discuss the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit. It dwells in you. It dwells in I, it dwells in everybody. It dwells in the man, it dwells in the woman. Now, the duty of the spirit is to help you and I to believe. That is why you and I can be able to think of what to worship. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. Do you understand that? It makes us to know that, yes, there is need to worship. It makes us to know that there is need to love one another. That is because it dwells in you, it dwells in me. It makes you to have the feeling, no matter how you hate me, Rich, if you see me, there is always a feeling that I am a human being in you, even if you are, I'm your worst enemy. Let us be frank to each other. It is time to spread this truth out. That is the Holy Spirit. That is his work. That is his duty. That is his responsibility. That is his deed. Now, he is different from the Holy Ghost. Now, the church cannot separate this for you and I because they don't know it and they claim God called them. So, on what kind of God called them? If you are told there's something called God, I know I have the Father King of Kings. The name God is the Englishman dog spirit. Okay, let us proceed. That is what helps us to believe. That is what makes us to worship. That is what makes us to know the world. To understand the word, the decrees of the heart. That is what gives us thought. That is what makes our mind to function. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. That is what gives us peace. That is what gives us love. That thing that makes us to have Oglogon Tachiobi, long suffering towards achieving an end, is the work of the Holy Spirit, not the Holy Ghost. Yeah, try to understand it. Separate it now. Because if you understand this, that is the salvation you are looking for. <laughs> we proceed now the Holy Spirit is that which has fruits 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 there are so many fruits of each Holy Spirit the fruit of love the fruit of peace the fruit of unity the fruit of governance the fruit of you know all act of gesture mind thought belief worship service all are the work of the Holy Spirit can someone challenge that? I am open for challenge. I am open for challenge. And I also challenge every man of God out there to come and tell me that this is not the truth. I want them to come and tell me the God that called them who cannot separate his listening creation for them. And I call for an arena. Any man of God out there that call himself G.O. I call you out to come out now and tell me how. The spirit exists. <clears throat> okay, we proceed. If you read your Bible, if we continue to read the Bible, you'll find out that the Bible classified the Holy Spirit to be the Holy Ghost. So in the area of the Holy Spirit, they don't understand it. In the area of the Holy Ghost, they don't understand it. So they classify the two to be one. It is not true. I am separating it for you now. By the time I teach you the work of the Holy Ghost, you cannot be able to read this Bible and understand who is speaking, why he is speaking, to whom he is speaking to, and what occasion that makes him speak that thing that will trigger such talk. Then you cannot be able to know where the talk is coming from and the reason for that talk. In this Bible, the Biblia Accra, the ancient record of my great grand ancestors, they wrote it. This white man stole it as he is stealing my oil today. 
as he is stealing my property today. The same way he stole this world, refine it and return it back to enslave my people. Now I am bringing you out of this slavery. I am bringing you out of this slavery of thought, slavery of ideology, slavery of material physical in the existence of mankind. I am diluting it now. I am making you free. And that is my duty as the prince of princes. I am the prince of all princes. Even you are Jesus Christ. He is the prince of peace. He is under my authority. I am not joking. That is what I, who I am. I am the prince of princes. Every prince is under my control and my instruction. Go and ask questions. So yeah, Jesus Christ is but the prince of priests. He has his own responsibility. He is under my authority. Go and ask questions. I am not joking. I am not bragging to you. So try to know it. I am announcing myself to you, to the world. Good. So hear it and know that that is who I am. I am the prince of all princes. Even the devil himself is under my control. He is subject, my subject because he is a prince under my princehood authority. Thank you. Let's proceed. Now, the Holy Spirit duty, this spirit help us to understand what is called attractions. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. It attracts the world, the interest, our interest towards the world. It attracts our interest towards belief. It attracts our interest towards liberation. It attracts our interest towards uh, 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 salvation. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. It's not the work of the Holy Ghost. It's not the work of the Spirit. So when you are working with the Spirit, understand. When you are working with the Holy Spirit, understand. When you are working with the Holy Ghost, understand. So I will teach you the Holy Ghost in the next video. That is why I'm taking it in series. So that you understand and know that these three entities are different things altogether. But the Bible could not interpret such mystery. I know you have your Bible. You know many places they talk about the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. Go and read. So that you know be that I put it for you. Uh -huh. If you don't have any lead, I can give you lead on that. I can give you uh, for you to go to the book of the Bible uh, where you can find them in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, the book of John, chapter 7. Then the, you go down to the other books in the Matthew. You go to the Corinth, from the Matthew 16, you go to Corinth, the first Corinthians 12. You move down to the book of Mormon, you talk about the second Nephi, the doctrine and covenant 35, the doctrine and covenant 35, verse 19, second Nephi 35, uh, second Peter, verse 1, you know, etc., and etc., and etc. That is where I can lead you to go and find out for yourself about the Spirit and try to read meaning towards who is the Spirit and who is the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit and Holy Ghost, you will understand. So as we now proceed, the Holy Spirit is cannot be gotten by laying on of hands. If someone comes to you that he gave you the Holy Spirit by laying on of hands, that is where you messed up. It's not done. Every man born of a woman created by the Father, the King of Kings, you have the Holy Spirit in you. You are born with it. It's a light that lighted you up. That is who you are. And that is what makes you a living being. Now, that is the light you grow in you. Did you understand it? That is what the Holy Spirit stands for. It's also a spirit of God. Do you understand? So now, because she is a woman, that is why she has the ability of multiplication. She is a woman. She that is the mother that we seek. Is that Holy Spirit? That is the woman among these three. That is to say, you inside this spirit came out the father and also came out the son. So these three things are in one, with one purpose, pursuing one thing. Now there is an aid of which they are using to transport themselves even unto the spirit in the lower kada, the spirit in the higher kada, in spirit of the realms of realms. That is where now the Holy Ghost comes in. Let me not go there. Let me not leave it to you. It will be a lesson as it's own. <laughs> Okay, 
Every spirit in the world fears me. Go and ask questions. Go and present my name to your shrine. Call my name there. High Prince will go to your name. Call my name there. That spirit will tell you, don't mention that name again. I am that name that the spirit here and the temple. Go and ask questions. <laughs> okay, more. I'm at your house. Okay, more. I'm at your house. Okay, more. More does honor to a boogie. You understand it? So we are separating it. I am that spirit that other spirits are afraid of. I am that prince that other princes are afraid of. Go and ask questions. Go to your India. Go to anywhere you want to go to. That is why that is impossible. There is no impossibility where we are. There is nothing impossible from our temple. There is nothing impossible from our domain. There is nothing impossible for Amado had to do because he dwells. All spirits are his subjects. The Holy Spirit. That is where we are going to stop today's lecture. The Holy Spirit dwells in all of us. I know these things to be the truth. The whole truth are nothing but the truth. I testify to you that the Father King of Kings lives and he has sent down his agent and I am his extension on earth, his descendant to bring to you the truth once again here on earth. I have not called you to join any church I built, but I'm only calling you that the temple of our Father, the throne of his existence, must be built because he said his temple is his throne. Hmm? So you are the throne of God. Look at you very well. When you sit down as a man, you see yourself sitting as a throne. Are you not a throne? You are the throne of God. And that is what the temple stands for. The throne where God will sit and rule. And that temple must be built. So whosoever out there as an architect, whosoever out there that understands it, is a temple. And it has been shown unto me. Inside the temple is the upper chamber. The upstairs is inside the temple already. Only it's one roof, what I saw. And the chambers of oppression are nine. I didn't count the lobbies and the meeting houses that make up the temple for what I was shown. So I want an architect out there to draw it out and bring it. You are doing it for Amadioha and Amadioha will bless you. I do not have money to pay you, but I know there are so many children of Amado out there who can draw what I have explained. It's a throne, a temple sitting like a throne. And the world will know that this is the throne of God. The throne of Amado is his temple. We must build it. And until that begins, we will not have a perfect government. I told you that circumstances will lead towards Biafra establishment. That circumstances will lead towards Biafra uh, 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 government and the circumstances are beginning to cripple in. I want you to prepare yourself, save food, put food in the house, make sure you have salt, uh, make sure there's water available, and then we have a very long race ahead of us. I wish you well. Subscribe with our channels at Eastern Youth Networks on YouTube, and then uh, at Amadeo on Twitter. Uh, reach us on Facebook, reach us on our reels, Bring us your problem, whatsoever kind of problem you have, we will solve it from here. If you are a man that belongs to a society, and your society have given you a date, because you are going to perform a sacrifice they want you to perform, and you are running away, we adapt authority that will stop that spirit, and you are well to remain. That is why I am here as a prince of princes. I don't care the place you belong in the world. I don't care your distance. That is what I do. I stop spirits that are doing the wrong thing. I stop demons. I arrest them. I put them to the pit and lock it, never to be open again. That is my responsibility. So if you are one of them that the spirit is haunting, come, and that person that will catch him. Inna, our room is my calling. I will the dragon. I wish you well. See us in the next video about the Holy Ghost. <laughs>